Welcome back to more World of Final Fantasy, everyone. So last time we got a lot of cutscenes and we got a like a really huge story bit. Oh my god, man. A huge story amount explained and that was amazing. And this time more cutscenes and more story, I'm assuming, by finding Tama. My goodness. What's with these especially long faces? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Seraphie, could you go get Tama for us? You want Tama? Funny you ask. She's been floating around like a terrified marshmallow ever since she got back. Let the pretty pixie handle this. Hey, Tama. Huh? Tama? Tommy Tom? Answer me. Oh, how dare you ignore me, you puny fluff butt! I am going to wash! You're so good! <laughs> I brought Tama like you asked. Oh, Seraphie, when the day I will destroy you. Tama, can we talk? We just really, really need to know what happened. <sighs> Thanks for the reminding me. This is no time. Those Cogna the Knight summoned are seriously bad the news! Cogna? No way! Yes, the way! And we have to stop them! Uh, time out. Before we go any further, Tama, what's a Cogna? They're horrible bad things completely beyond the description! Well, uh, maybe you should try anyway? The Cogna are living machines that thrive on destruction. They have laid more worlds to waste and there are stars in the sky. And that's not a poetic exaggeration. What? But that's nuts! They're almost like a disease. It's not that they're all strong, it's that they never stop growing in number. Once they manage to invade a world, no one can stop them the ever, not even in a crow herself. Then what about the knights? Are they like Cogna Masters or something? Something the else. They call themselves the X-9 Knights. They're a horrible order who the wander from the world to world and leave chaos in their way. Which leads to the question why, I suppose. But if they were the Order of the Circle, then I think I know the why. Whoa. Did you say the Order of the Circle? I'm afraid the so. Bad news? Me and the Seraphie have a history with them that goes back more years than I know how to the count. There are arch, 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 arch nemeses, to put it lightly. Bummer. So that's who is pulling the strings. But that means they won't rest until... Until the every last world is destroyed. They're filled to the gills with ill the will. I'm still not sure I get it. But basically you're saying Grimoire's in hot water. Is that the idea? The water's so hot it's almost the steaming! And if you think it will end with just the grimoire, then you've got another thing to coming! Is Ninewood Hills in danger too? That wouldn't even be the tip of the iceberg. Oh no. No, no, no. We're not talking just one or two of the worlds. You see, we're the part of a whole Googleplex of worlds! A Googleplex? What is that? Like a thousand? Dude! Actually, a Googleplex is ten. To the tenth, to the hundredth power. A million worlds?! We can work on your math skills some other time. I need to get one thing straight. The reason those things got into Grimoire? It's our fault, isn't it? Huh? Um, the maybe, I think, yes. So, basically, we've put Grimoire and other worlds in terrible danger. No. No, that can't be true. It is. We messed up. Those guys in the armor, they used us. They invented a false prophecy and tricked us into opening the Ultima Gate. Mom was just the bait. <gasps> Would you cut it out? No way, dude. Hey, hang on. Anna Crow is the one who said to collect mirages to find our family. 
If she hadn't let us on, then... Maybe... she's... one of them. No way! Absent the positively no way! Huh? Oh, well, yeah, after all, and a crow would never, ever lie. All right, then. I guess I'll let it go. <sighs> so, like, why'd they pick us? How come we were even able to do something like that? I was the hoping you would know. Um, if you're going to ask the someone, you should ask your big sister. You might be right. Let's return to Balam Garden and go talk to Alwyn. <sighs> Lon? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess she might be awake. Okay, so I guess we're headed back to Balam Garden. We learned some more, you know, valuable information. You know, you know what those guys remind me of? The Flood. You know, the ones that are, like, going from world to world. Not powerful individually, but powerful in numbers. It's like a disease, infest the world, and so on. The Flood from Halo. Oh my god, people. Alright, so let's see. Um, um, travel. So it's time to go back to... Where's it at? Balam Garden. Here it is. Gotta talk to our sister now. See, I don't know what's been up with the, uh, the loading lately. Is this just me, or does the loading feel worse, like, now that I'm later in the game? That's strange. It feels kind of weird. Like it's taking longer and longer. Sorry. Okay, fine. Whatever. Who must I talk now to? That I have those... Um, I'm assuming this way, maybe. This freaking door. Well, I'm guarding deck. See, that's not the deck. Well, mm, whatever. Hey there, Alwyn. Tell me one thing. Your past. Do you remember any of it? No. Not really. Afraid not. Right. Of course. If you did remember, there's no way you would be talking to me. But... I do remember you're my sister, Wen. She does. But I don't. So then. What will you do to me this time? Do to you? But when those knights were holding you prisoner? Stop. Huh? I don't know you anymore, so don't call me that. But when? Enough. Okay. I was a prisoner for a very long time. But it wasn't the knights. Well, who then? You ought to know. And why should I bother to help you? Figure out the obvious. You have to remember. For Lady Luce. Our mom? Is she here? Is she still alive? Yes. They're here. Lady Luce and Lord Rorik. Rorik? <gasps> Her dad? Then mom and dad are both okay? Where are they? But you know that too. Where they are. What they're doing. We do? Are you sure? Alwyn. Are you one of the bad guys? Me? One of them? You must be joking! But... You went around in a mask, tricking us. <sighs> Enough. Say no more. I just don't want to hear it. Siren! Wait! You can't go! We still have so many questions! You bring nothing to this world but pain! And chaos! Leave now! Go back home! And never wake from your sleep again! Your mother and father... I'll save them. Ugh, gosh, bomb it! What the honk is her problem? She didn't tell us anything. No, 
but you heard what she said about mom and dad. They need to be saved. Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess she did. Okay, but what do they need saving from? I don't know. Hey! What's going on? Did you see that mirage? Where's Alan? <sighs> that explains what happened. But then, what are you two going to do now? I'm not sure. I know, this may sound a little selfish, but... If you don't mind, maybe you could help us fight off the Cogna that have appeared across Grimmoor. We need more manpower. As much as we can get. Sure. Huh? Whether we were tricked or not, we're still the ones who brought them here. We have to fix this. As long as we have the power to do it. Yeah, you're right. Besides... <sighs> helping the League out with operations means... Gathering mirages and getting stronger. If Seraphie and Tom are right, and we can trust what Enicro told us, then we ought to keep going. Let's collect mirages and find our family. <sighs> yeah. Great. Okay then, the airship. We'll let you borrow it. The skies are yours. Go on out there and help wherever you can. Okay, so I got two out of the four champion medals for summoners, Yuna and Terra. But what about Rydia and... Um... Oh god. Oh shit, what... Freaking... Aiko, that's right, or Aiko, whatever. It's good that we're helping the League out, but remember, we need to round up more mirages. Tama, these Cogna things, can you tell us more about them? They look powerful. Like mirages, some of the Cogna are strong and some not so the much. Then again, the tough ones are really the really the tough. In fact, some of the Cogna have such powerful defenses that regular attacks that won't even leave a scratch on them. Dude, what? How are we supposed to stop them then? Remember, we're not the only ones out there fighting. There's Cloud, Squall, Lightning. We're all gonna have to learn to help each other out. Right. Good point. Chapter 21 Chaos in Grimoire. Okay, so where are we supposed to start? Well, if we can track down Cloud, Squall, and Lightning, they could probably use a little help with the Cogna. Right, but where are they? Oh, we need more intel! Oh, for that the kind of stuff, you should definitely consult with Seraphie. Hang on while I go in to get her! Yeah, hi. So I suppose you're gonna make me break out the old rumor radar for you. Rumor radar? Oh, that's my secret power, hun. It lets me instantly snap up every bit of gossip within my threshold. In a teensy world like this, that basically only amounts to everything. Whoa, now that's cool! Huh? Is it cool? Well, I'm no expert, but I'd say it is. Woo-hoo! I thought I'd never be one of those cool pixies. Well, you'd be the cooler if you picked up facts instead of rumors. Thanks for that reminder. Uh, well, so do you mind trying it? Yeah, sure. I guess I'll start us out by narrowing down the search to those Cogna we're after. Sound good? Okay, what do you want to check for rumors? Around Cornelia, Nibelheim, Figaro, Tometown, or Besaid? I guess I'll start from the beginning, around Cornelia. Here's the latest. Around Cornelia, did you hear? A strange four-legged machine is closing in on Cornelia. The warrior of light and that tough-looking lady with the pink hair were walking about some kind of plan to keep the threat at bay. But what if it doesn't work? I can hardly sleep at night. There you have it. Um... Do I just have to, like, go through all of them then? Here's the latest. 
We get a lot of this. Some kind of creepy machine is tearing the landscape up right outside of Nibelheim. Soldiers out there trying to take it down, but it sounds like they've barely made a dent in the thing. Not even that guy with the big sword and the young lady in the cowboy hat have been able to stop it. The guy with the big sword? Well, I mean, I would assume Cloud, but isn't Cloud here with us? No, then again, they split off. So yeah, it's uh, Cloud and Tifa. There you have it. I'm not entirely sure what I have to do here. Here's the latest. Around Figaro, I don't know where they came from, but a bunch of strange machines have taken over the desert. One of our merchants would have died if King Edgar and the Castle Guard hadn't come to the rescue. Figaro's putting up a good fight, but there are just so many. If only we knew what was controlling them. There you have it. Here's the latest. You'll never believe it. There's been another sighting of that spooky runaway train. Where does it come from? Where does it go? I'm too scared to set a foot outside my door. Sid and Cellos have been racking... Their brain's trying to figure out what makes it tick, but if they don't stop it soon, I think Tome Tome might end up going toned down. There you have it. Here's the latest. Where did that flying mechanical monstrosity come from? It's been dive bombing people left and right. My goodness, I just hope it moves on soon and leaves Besaid alone. How are we supposed to fight off something we can't even reach? So, like. Things are basically terrible everywhere? That's a problem. We can't be in all of those places at once. Time! I command you to stop! Okay, can we just build a time machine or something? Inside Ninewood Hills, you do realize that time is essentially stopped? Oh, wait! That girl behind the door in Ninewood Hills, couldn't she help us reach everyone? <gasps> You're right! Inside her room, we can skip around to any point in time that we want! To board the airship, all you'd have to do is press the button shown on the world map. The airship is time to take to the skies. While an area map is open, you can open the world map with a single press of square, but you can st or you can still choose your destination from a list, but chances are there's something else you've been dying to do. Okay. Why not take the helm and give your airship a spin? Who knows, you might even discover new mirages while you're at it. I guess so. So it says you can still choose your destination from a list, but chances are there's something else you've been dying to do. All right, cool. But I think first we gotta go this way anyway to this damn door. The girl's tea room. Okay. I should save, because like there's so many scenes. What if I die to a boss or something? I don't know where the hell it's gonna come from. Where's the girl? So she is there again. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Just to be safe, you know? Again, it's a blind run, so I don't know when the boss is coming up soon. You know? A boss that has a threshold. You never know. Oh yeah, also, I should freaking stack combo. What am I doing? Uh, stacks it all. Okay, what I'm gonna do is now switch. Switch some freaking mirages. Or, like, evolve them, I should say. Okay, so. Um, what should I do? Okay, first I'm gonna put Tama. So, what I'm gonna do is that recommendation that I've been getting a lot from, um, mostly two people. Wait, where's. Dude, I don't have Tama with me. What the heck? What are you doing back in there, Tama? Get over here. Here you are. I thought I lost you there for a second, man. Or girl, sorry. Okay, stack setup. Let's go ahead and uh, go here. Select Tama. Bam. Okay. So I want to see something here. This one here says... Wait a minute, what the heck? Yeah, okay, this one here says... 57, 69 HP, 648 strength, and 553 magic. Okay, that's important. Now, there's a good reason why this is important, because I want to see for sure how much of a stat difference there is. Because I've been getting a comment, or comments from a couple people. Alright, so let me see here. 5,769 HP, um, 648 attack, and 553 magic. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Go back now. So what I'm gonna do is go to the prism case and then evolve this guy into Behemoth. 
So as you can see, stats are going down and up. Okay. Now, because I was told that that's probably a fake thing. Like when you look at the prism case there, instead of going and stack, and then let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put... Wait, I had... Who did I have? Okay, White Knack. I'm going to put you. Okay. So let me take a look now at the entire stats. So I wrote it down. 5,000... Okay, so HP went up. Strength went down by 1. Magic went down by 3. Dude, that's what I don't get. I... I, okay, even after a couple episodes ago, I was like, no, stats are offsetting. Some are going down, some are going up, which is true, even with the whole stack stats. But then I was told, no, you're wrong. They still go up. Whatever, I'll play along with it. I'll play along with it. Apparently, I should be much stronger like this. Um, oh, I need to switch my freaking thing. Okay, I'll do that later. Because um, I need to switch out you too by Hydra. Okay, so with Bihydra, the Bihydra stat, or stack, not stat, what the hell, the stack is, um, 54, 34, I'm writing this down just so I can compare, 651, and then 586, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and evolve my Bihydra. Okay, come here, go to, um, I would go down by a lot. It goes down by three. Defense up by a lot, though. Hmm, interesting. Okay, go ahead and do that. Yes, it'll affect stacks, I know. Alright. Let's go to a stack setup now. And then... So it's, it'll be this one. I need to switch you out and put Tama. And then I have to go ahead and put... This one. Okay, let's take a look. HP is 5471, so HP went up by approximately 35. Okay. Strength went down by 3, the uh, magic went up by 4, but strength still went down. Again, I'll play along with it, but according to the stats, I'm weaker in terms of damage output, which is... Alright, whatever. Alright, let's do it. Let's go ahead and switch now into Lilikins. Also, this thing is going to aggravate me here. It's going to annoy me, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, examine it. Wait, I already examined it. It was the airship one. Okay. So there we go. Apparently I'm much stronger now. So let's do it. We are so awesome, right? With Lilkins. Okay, go ahead and save. I mean, the perk is that I can now joyride because uh, the behemoth can actually joyride in case you didn't know. That's cool. Watch this. Oh, wait, I can't joyride in here. Okay, I'll show it off later. Hello there, dude. Or girl. Would you mind if I take a little nap? What now? Um, do I need to intervene? Let's trade an armor gem. Well, I mean, I'm not going to trade them in yet, because I want to see. Oh, crap. I got so many. Jesus. Um, I'm going to go for those later, though, because, again, interventions are the ones I want to do. I'm not even using champions at the moment, anyway, so it's not like I'll even use... Oh, 65? Oh, my God. Okay, so these are the five things that I have to do. The main quest. They're hard. Whoa. What about the other ones? Like, did I unlock any more? I did. Holy shit. Um, because apparently the one that I need is the one that involves Aiko to get that the Fenrir thing that I'm looking for. But I'm going to do those later because these are side quests. I'll do those later. For now, just going to go ahead and do all these. So let's go ahead and do Cornelia. Yeah, let's start with this one. The Cornelia one. Accept the quest, yes.
Well, that was cutting it close. Lucky for us, it isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? Thank you for coming, Eiko. Your journey here must have been long and risky. Huh? Aw, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I'm just happy I could be of service. And besides, the only job I have is to flip the switch, so to speak. It's called the Loot of Ragnarok, isn't it? Lightning's assessment was spot on. The loot is like Big Bridge. It's an Eidolon that's entered into a deep sleep. I'm amazed you never realized what you had. But if I didn't know about it, how could you? Cornelia's history goes back a long way. From what I understand, our first king was a summoner. I think it's safe to say there's no doubt about it now. Well, whatever the case, our new friend will need lots of magic to bust through that Cogna's armored shell. Yes, but lightning will come through for us. Gotta hurry before that thing gets off another shot. Every second counts. Oh my god, what the heck? Shoot. This is so cool. Time is running out. Eliminate every enemy in your way. While you push the left stick, lightning will run along your predetermined route. While you push the left stick, okay? Use the correct button to cut down each foe. Okay, the circle button for fiery fritz, the X for icy the blisses, and triangle for- Oh shit, what? Okay. Circle for fire. Triangle for- Electric and X for the blaze. If you press turn button or or make contact with an enemy, you will be forced back and temporarily stunned. The game will end if you fail to reach the goal in time. Oh my god, this is the battle theme of Final Fantasy XIII. Oh shit. Alright, so. This will actually be for next time though, because I'm out of time. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone.